obviously we mentioned we're going to be going to to an event as well and then we'll talk about maybe some of the fights that we're most excited for on that one down there on the down there on the second um some really great fights unfortunately we lost the main event ryan pocock versus um ethan george ethan george which was going to be a big fight ethan was then hopefully made maybe going to fight anyway and, and i think possibly they haven't been able to get an opponent for him which is an, is a shame but they haven't still... got an opponent for him because the rematch is coming up oh, very okay. soon there's, there's still some some really great fights on there um I thought we could just pick out a couple fights each, and uh, or a fight or so each, that that we wanted to, uh, that we thought was a an interesting one. To jump off of it, the first one I think for me, Joe Morgan fighting against um, Lokesh Dangi. Joe Morgan's only twenty one. He's six and zero as a fighter already. Um, he's fighting the Indian box Lokesh Dangi's first fight in the UK. Um, Where did they find these? people as well i guess they, i, I guess they come over as a group because there's another there's a cup there's another indian fighter and i saw an indian fighter on a card this week so i guess they those guys yeah. have come over to, to get some fights in the uk um but he's one that i'm really excited about he fought in the motor point arena on the um on the cordina undercard along with obviously ben crocker was on that card as well it was a matchroom card um he looked really exciting i mean six and oh at 21 if you're that young and you're that and you've already got that record you've seriously got to start looking and and i think he's going to be knocking on the door of of uh of some big events in the future um particularly if he can he can obviously get past this one um what about you have you got a, a fight that you think you, you know people need to keep their eyes out for moses jolly seven and oh yeah his last out. two fights he stopped his opponent via tko he hasn't got an opponent yet though for saturday night but yeah hopefully he starts stepping up now and potentially gets a uh, shot at the welsh uh, the welsh title later this year yeah it's the he's why is he, he's 28 years old nickname the native the native yeah, yeah. i've seen him on instagram he, he's i think he's got a brand all around it's, he, he looks like a serious fighter moses johnny right. he'd be fighting if he does get that welsh title fight when was the last time the heavyweight welsh title? there's there some go. history there it's got to be fought for i think it has to be 1989 bloody ben the stat man there. the <laughs> yeah, historian it's, it's good we, we, we're getting those welsh titles fought for and and that's a good thing and obviously. they should get rid of the name it's welsh not the area. welsh area title it's the welsh title i know it's recently as well it's the scottish area title it's ridiculous um, it, it seems bizarre so get why, it to, why ain't the be, british uh, title or the english title the english area title i know it is daft it is daft i imagine because when the english and british were made in the late 20s early 30s wales probably was considered more of an area by the people who were making it, the Brits. Well, it was English people that were making it. I'm not saying that's true. No, no, no. <laughs> Watch yourself when you walk out of here. No, but if you, if you walk to to the people who were going to be making the rules back in the 30s, true, they yeah. probably saw Wales as an area. Whether or not it was, it wasn't. But it, it you know, that's what they would have thought. That's why it was the English boys speaking. And, and the British boxing co- border control aren't aren't known for being particularly modern and, and forward no. thinking and, and fixing Welsh old fighters, old, yeah. old rules. So Welsh fighters and Welsh coaches, yeah. British boxing border control. Yeah, yeah, big fan. We won't we won't go into that one uh, in case. Uh, Jake, can I name another one as well? James letter. Atkins. Yes, five and zero. He's I would say he's a step up in opponent with Stefan Vincent. Uh, obviously, Stefan's two and eleven. I think he fought this weekend as well, Stefan. But yeah, great to see James fighting again. Uh, obviously, in his last fight, um, he, f- he fought a certain Naeem Ali. And at the end of it, it started kicking off. Was that his last fight? I thought that was his first fight. I thought no, was that his was his last. Debut. I think that was his last fight. I, I thought wrong. it was his pro debut was I James Atkins. It... But, you know, there's an interview with him up on the channel. Um, yeah, you're right. It was his last fight. Yeah, it was the one in November. Um, a- one again in the Vale Sports Arena. Um, yeah, I don't so think he's, he's only fought in the Vale Sports Arena and maybe the Swansea LC2 and uh, the Galleries Bristol which would, yeah, be another, it would have been another Sanagar card that looked a good venue Mike on Saturday yeah, it did look mm. nice but yeah it's an interesting one James Atkins Stefan Vincent one of the ones with an opponent so it'll be, it'll be nice to see that's that why, that's why I picked it to be honest um, and, then, and then what about you Ben another, another fight to pick out uh, Joshua Johns fight he hasn't got an opponent yet but uh, obviously we spoke to him in the week down at the gym he was training hard He's uh, dropped a weight class, not a bantamweight, I think it is now. He's fighting in it, so he's uh, got aspirations of titles. He's obviously fought before for a Celtic title, and his last fight was a European, WBO European against Brad Strand, who's unbeaten. That was a your call last year, and uh, didn't get the result that night. But uh, yeah, he's looking at building himself up for 
uh, challenging for bantamweight titles. So I'm looking forward to seeing a wee guess off on the weekend. Yeah, it was interesting. I, I spoke to Josh just after when when Harry was talking to James, um, and I think he was he was saying he he would be that was an, a rematch he'd be interested in. Um, obviously that he lost on the in York Hall on the undercard of the the Gwyn Marsili fight against Brad Strand, and I think Strand's got a fight coming up for the to defend Dennis McCann. Of course, yeah, he's, he's um, fighting Dennis right. McCann for that one, which will be a tough fight. And if he doesn't get through that one, I think Josh was pretty confident that, that he could go back in there and, and get the result, um, which would be a nice one to see. All, I mean, all of these, like I said, obviously with James and with um, with Josh, both those interviews are up on the channel. Um, and then the last one I'm going to shout out is Conor McIntosh. He's the current Welsh um, title holder, beat Nathan Howell for for, for the Welsh title. Um, six and what six and one fighting another Indian, but he he's a, a really really good fighter. And, and and there's an interview with him up on the channel as well. But yeah, really, really great fighter and, and a really sound guy. And, and hopefully we'll be able to talk to a lot of these guys this weekend and, and get some more content. So, so keep your eyes peeled for all of that. 